Hey guys, Spotted Hiney here with another Animorphs vlog. This is book 29, The Sickness. Speaking of sickness, that cover is just sickly. As is the... It, trying to do things with one hand here, guys. As is the inside cover. Ugh. The flip book, I'm going to try to show you if this thing clock No, it's not going to cooperate. I can accept the premise of kids who can turn into animals fighting alien brain slugs, but what I can't accept is a 14, uh, I think they might be like freshmen in high school actually because in the later book they remark about somebody giggling like a middle schooler. So they must be the uh, most freshmen in high school, or maybe sophomores. But that is still way too young to be doing frickin' brain surgery on an alien. Like, I could see a actual neurosurgeon applying what they learned from doing actual brain surgery for years to do brain surgery on an alien. But this is a, like, 14, 15 year old girl who has no background in veterinary medicine. Well, okay, her parents are veterinarians, but she's never actually studied it. Just because her parents are veterinarians doesn't mean she knows how to do brain surgery on a species that is not from Earth. It's just a little too unbelievable. Because that's the main plot of, well, that's the A plot. The B plot is they rescue Abstra and she helps with the brain surgery because she can go inside his brain and figure out how it works. So, they rescue Aftran. I'm glad to see her again. Her? I think it's. I think Aftran is female. And I really like that she got a happy ending to her story. They gave her the morphine cube, allowed her to acquire a whale or a dolphin or something, and they. She became a Nauslet and lived her, the rest of her life as a, a sea creature. So that's that's an awesome end to the story, and that makes me think there might be hope for a peaceful resolution with the Yerks. Which is something I like about Cassie's character is that she is always looking for the peaceful resolution even though she's surrounded by cruelty and she she's fighting this evil irredeemable alien parasite species. She still looks for the good in everybody even though she's fighting. And it'd be so easy for her to try to desensitize herself to make fighting easier but she doesn't go that route. 